Hi everyone, welcome back to another Crash Team Rumble video. Today we're going to be talking about Crash Team Rumble. Could actually Crash Team Rumble make a comeback? Let's talk about it in today's video. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video from Modi Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about Crash Team Rumble again. So... Crash Team Rumble has been doing really good, but actually the content and the, um, so the firstly the game started with, um, with season one, including two new characters, Ripperu, a new power, Sticky TNT, a new map, Bog Down, including a new limited time mode, Zap Trap with new events such as double hero xp ko overflow badge bonanza um and of course the events for the characters and maps so yeah for season two we had more things um than season one but we got only one character which is ripto we um, yeah, in season 2 we had Ripperu and Engine. This season, which is season 2, we are having Ripto. Um, season 1 we had a new power stick at TNT. Season 2 it's Minefield. And two new maps, Jazz Junction and Waste Deep, including a whole new permanent mode, um, which is Party Mode. So, um... We had a lot of limited time modes that came in the game. In season one, um, yeah, whatever. So we have a lot of limited. We have multiple limited time modes, not only one like season one, um, which had like only one limited time mode zap trap. But this season we're having zap trap plus three v three plus one parama. And that's all what we had. Um, and including new events like the Halloween event or the spooky event, we had, um, we actually had tons of new events like maybe, but like boss beatdown, for example, we had the events for the limited time modes too. For season 3, we had two new characters, Spyro and Elora. We had a new power bank portal, including two new maps, um, which which are um, Summer Forest and Artisan's Arena. So, um, in season 1, we had Bogged Down. Season 2, we had, um, we had what is it called? Um... As Jazz Junction and Waste Deep, and also in season two we had another map for party mode called Balance Balloons, which is actually one of my favorite maps or levels in party mode. The third season, which is season three, includes two new maps for party mode. Um, what's Juice and and Forest Run. So my favorite one is What's Juice in, in the in the mode, in the whole mode. So, <clears throat> we have also um, new events like um, to like the what is it called? Token and annihilation, for example. Yeah, we had it. We had new limited time modes. Zap trap. We had bank swap too. Um, and we had um, Wampa Whale. So, Season 3 really makes sense. It didn't have a permanent mode, but we already had Party Mode. And the Competitive Mode, or the Core Mode. We are having... Um, do we have anything more? <coughs> um, I think that's all. So we had two new characters, of course, Spyro and Alora. 
um, with new events and, and and everything was crazy. Season, like, it's kind of season the next one, season four that included only a battle pass. So this is the last content update. So this is season four. Okay, so season four includes only a battle pass, a five hundred tier battle pass including all items from the previous seasons with events and bell pass content including 104 new items like a new season and i love all the customizations that were added this season or this update so that's all what they added um it took time it took only like it took nine months and i think it's a long time to add those actually um maybe they make the season one month but um, um or they just and they decrease the xps that you just get so that you can complete the whole battle pass in one month and just complete the, everything is completed in the season for one month like every every day they add new events that will like not every weekend just add them regularly but after that they revealed that this is going to be the last content update for crash team rumble which is the 500 tier bell pass there is no more than that coming and toys for bob confirms there is no more so could it make a comeback let's speculate firstly to know that um it might so if it comes to game pass that's gonna be really good this is one of the things that could actually help in com in making the game come back or making the game free to play the game included free trials in both season one and season two including free trials of course for people to try it to try the game so um we actually this is all so this is um so those are all the free trials but could it be free or free on ps plus or even come to game pass this could really help on making people try the game to be able to, to just talk about the game and how much it's fun the third thing is that like famous players try this game um like famous pl uh, gaming players and one of the ways to make people try it is to make it free to play instead of paying free to play will help the game more and this might help toys for bob to come back but for now toys for bob said it's stopping but it might come back too so those are uh, all the ways i those are one of the ways I think he, it could come back. And the fourth is that another developer develops the game instead of Toys for Bob. Like a game that, game in, that came in 2013, the developer was changed. I just can't remember the name of the developer. But as an example, this game, um, so there is a developer that launched the game and made season one and season two, I think so. Another developer switched and continued season three, working on this like fighting game, you know, it's, well, it's a fighting game. So could Crash Team Rumble do like that? Like, for example, Toys for Bob is developing it 
is developing it now. There, like, the developer might change, like, Beanox says, is gonna continue developing the game, so the game is gonna have more seasons, like, they will bring new characters for season 4, new maps, and new powers, of course, or bringing season 5 to continuing season seasonal content. So, the, so those are, I think, one of the ways that happens. So, Don, so Don, I know now. You are one hundred percent sure they're gonna make a comeback. No. We, I'm saying this as what I think could happen. It might not happen. So, so maybe we say twenty five percent, like ten percent. It can come back because I don't think this could actually happen. But it also might happen, so just don't sneak up. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure about what I'm saying, but it might actually happen. So next video, we're going to be talking about Spiral 4. I'll see you in the next video, and bye.